This is Mrs. Wilkoskis in the library, and this I'm taking you on a tour of this content block. You'll see it's in the library content page, on one of the library pages, but it will actually be in Miss Sowers. So don't worry about that, about the fact that this looks different. I'm going to just take you a tour of these resources, and then I'll post it down here. So we're going to, um, I'm, I'm, I put this content block together for this Meeting of the Minds Renaissance and Reformation Project. <clears throat> And I don't want you to have to dig far to find information. So I wanted to lead you in the right direction. When you're looking for background information on a person, um, you want to use reference articles, things like uh, encyclopedia articles, something like you might find on Wikipedia, but of course you can't use Wikipedia because you can't use anything that has user-generated content. It has to be vetted. You have to have experts that write it. Okay, so the first one I would start with, let me clean up this so when I open a tab. I won't lose it. Okay, so this is, wait, no, this is not where I am. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to start with the GVRL, Gale Virtual Reference Library. Okay, again, reference books. So I'm going to just, uh, from here, I would just put in my character. I'm going to type in somebody that I had not heard of before. I spelled it right. There we go. I'm going to hit search. And I have 228 um, hits for Erasmus. I don't know his last name. So, uh, I mean, I don't know this first name. I'm not sure how to say that. Okay, so let me just talk to you about this over here. So this is going to tell you um, what level, the reading level it is. So you could probably, basic is probably almost going to be too short and too elementary before you. So you can limit it by intermediate and advanced. If you find the advanced is too hard for you, which I really don't think it is, you could actually uncheck it. You can click right here. Do you want topic overview or biography, work overview? You might get lots of different types of information from each of these different types of documents. So I actually don't think I would limit one over the other. I think I would just keep it in mind. Um, so this is how you're going to do um, the GVRL. So let me also show you a few things. You Let's say we're going to use the New Catholic Encyclopedia. You can click here and send the document to your Google Drive. So it actually will pop up in your Google Drive with the cit cit drive with the citation at the bottom. Okay. Now, with that said, that citation. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find one real quick. Let me. See, there it is. Seventeenth. Okay. So we don't include the URL. Uh, I don't think there's a session date in uh, Chicago anymore. I can't remember. But the reality is, these are never right. I have seen very few that they were actually right. It's a great place to start, but this is not, oh, I can tell you right now, this is not right because you can't have, uh, it has to be, you know, lowercase from, the name has to be in lowercase, capital G, but the rest has to be lowercase. It's never right. So you can't assume it's right. You can't copy and paste and think this is going to be right. So I use this information and then we build it in Noodle Tools. And I have used this feature before and it's kind of nice, but it imports the errors. And so it's actually hard to see the errors when they've been imported, in my opinion. All righty. So we're going to hit... Um, so we're going to close out of that. I use that information. The citation will be at the bottom, and then you will build it in Noodle Tools. Okay. Um, what else can you say? So use your citation tool. You send a Google Drive. I think there's um, – what else? I guess you can send to OneDrive if that's what you want. Um, but know that those features are here. So we're going to go back. Let's see what else we've got going on. There we go. So we have lots of different hits. That's how we use GVRL. Okay, biography and context. It is also a Gale resource. See, the, uh, Gale is a um, a provider of databases, kind of like Coca Cola Company would be a provider of many different types of soda. Gale is a provider of many different uh, databases, so they have a lot of the same features, which is nice. You will even have some content that crosses over. But we could type in the same guy. Uh, I've already forgotten who I typed in. D I S. I D E R I. See, I don't practice my videos before I email before I make them. Let's see. Let me 
go. Okay, I did something wrong. Oh wait, maybe he's not in here. There we go, he is in here. No, he's not in here. There we go. Let's see what we got. There we go. So that that is a crossover. There's that same resource. So you will find some of the same resources in different databases, okay? But you will find different resources also. So it may be worth looking into. Um, and here are your biographies, usually come from reference articles, but then here are some magazines. Uh, but I don't think you'll find magazines, newspapers, and art, academic journals to be as helpful to you. I think I'd stick with reference articles. Okay, so let's see what else we've got going on. Okay, so if you still can't find information, we'll go to, uh, go to you can go to the history databases, but I actually, I know that all of these people are in the GVRL because we've already checked, but if you wanted more information, you can come to the history databases. You can do a discovery search. Let me show you what that looks like. I'll just type in what I, what I get. I think it's still thinking. I have a research starter. Okay, so you, you, here are books, but I actually think you're now turning a smaller project into a big project when you start trying to check out books about it. When I think you can find what you need in your uh, in the reference uh, reference databases, but it's available to you if you want. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, okay, here's the remote's password page. I'm not going to click through because this is out on YouTube and I need this to stay behind a password protected wall. But there's a remote password page on the library's haiku page and this will take you to it. Um, in case you are on any of these databases and the link breaks and it asks, asks for a uh, username and password, that's where you will find it right here. Whoopsie, 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 whoopsie. Alrighty, and then the last one is just Noodle Tools. Uh, this is a video on how to set up a Noodle Tools account if you've never done that before. Alrighty, hopefully that is helpful. And um, you don't need, but if you have any questions, come see me. Um, I'm always happy to help and hopefully you will find all the resources you need. If not, just, just let us know and we can help you find what you do need.